Uh, previously, I... <laughs> okay, you can't go downstairs, so we'll just hang out here. Well, yeah, it's... Oh, no, that's new! <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! This is hard! It's the most time to play that he's ever had. He's a part-time gamer dad. I'm back, baby, and we are so close to winning this night. I don't know what I just manifested, but hopefully it's gonna make these, this last hour go by real fast, like. I'm just gonna wander back and forth because I am so close. Uh, so close, tick tock, tick tock. And... There we, oh, no, that's not it. That's bad. Lightning strikes bad. Hey, 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 we did it. Oh, I'm back, baby. Oh, okay. I played so long in between episodes to get to that point. You should play this game alone. Get up three hours before sunrise. Say this to yourself three times. I didn't forget anything. Well, that's just every morning when you have ADHD. Walk through your darkened house and turn on the light in each room. Go back to the room you started in. Close your eyes. Try to focus on the first thing that comes to mind. If you imagine a face, that being will come to live in your home. Imagine the, the subscription, subscription button. That took forever, but I think I'm getting it down. I think I'm getting it down. There are sort of distinct phases to each one of those nightmare nights, and hiding is definitely necessary. I it didn't capture it on camera, but while I was playing in between episodes, uh, I actually managed to hide from a ghost, and the entire point of view changes. It changes from, oh, hi, movie time. Where did the diary go? I clearly remember putting it under my pillow. I don't get it. Where could I have hidden it? My memory didn't used to deceive me like this. All this is rather strange. No matter what happened, I have to find an immediate I hope I find it immediate or I won't be able to work tomorrow. All the notes, all my immediate notes. Okay. So we're holding the lamp. We're back to the sleepwalking phase. I gotta go to the clock. Forward time. My old man gave me this diary when I was first learning how to write. He said that I would write my entire life down in it, and that with the last page of the notebook, my life would end as well. Well, your dad sounds like a barrel of monkeys. He was the last in our family who was fond of speaking in metaphors. I was very young then, and took his words literally. Oh. I wanted to live a long life, so I rationed the pages. I wrote only in my smallest handwriting, rarely and briefly. It became a habit. But for a while, I forgot his words. For some reason, they've come back to me now, and they unsettle me. Okay, got it, thank you. We all knew that one person in school who had, like, teeny tiny handwriting, too. I feel like there was at least one person in every elementary school class who had to write just as small and cramped as possible. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, distinct phases to each one of the Nightmare Nights, right? Like, uh, it does ramp up, and luck plays a significant role in it, because uh, getting those clocks to appear is, like, key to winning. And if you can't get a clock to appear at least twice, then you're kind of screwed. So we'll just go ahead and keep walking on through here, play play Heidi Seeky. Advance the time, door should open. We'll go tromping through the woods. I'm getting it, I'm getting there. Something is getting closer from the other side. I have to hurry. See, what I like about this is that I, it kind of reminds me in terms of the rhythm here of Silent Hill 4, which is another game that I've played, yes. Uh, one that I've played a lot and am actually very fond of. I'm so busy. During the day, I have to take samples of everything here. I have to check on the composition of the soil and also the air, water, fauna, and flora. <laughs> take samples of the animals? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to hear about your day. I want to move through because, like, this is... I'm safe in this phase of the game. This is, like, my sanctuary. Right, it's still important. What I do here furthers the plot, but I'm not gonna get attacked. Just like when you're in your apartment in Silent Hill 4, which makes me wonder, 
is this section of the game eventually going to become, you know, dangerous? Am I going to lose that sanctuary? I hope that's the case, because that would just be delicious. Also, I learned that there are two voices that haunt me during the active gameplay. There's the the mysterious voice and there's the like little girl's voice, which I thought was like a benevolent voice. But it turns out that little girl's voice, not very benevolent at all. She is very mean. I hear you. You're close. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to do it. And that's a new noise. It's a cool noise, but it's new and I don't like it. And it does make me think that I'm going to lose the sanctuary of this level. There she is. She does come back. Hey, come here. I do have to go up one more. Founder. Okay. Oh, hi. So these are just nonsensical, right? Like they're not supposed to make any sense, but they're important. Is this the girl that I'm trying to track down? If so, I love her hair. I love what she's done with it. Very curly. Oh, sparkly eyes. Okay, neat. Huh. Hmm. 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 Okay. A strange and unthinkable world appeared to me through the trees. My duty is to record the changes in the world as a worldologist. But how can I even be sure that any of this is real? Man, I mean, that's that's an easy emotion to feel when you're wandering the woods in twilight. All right. Let's make our way back to the house and roll up our sleeves, prepare for fun. Here you, buddy. You sound like my my tum tum. It's lunchtime and I'm getting hungies. All right, up we go. Okay, here we go. I'm sleeping, and at this point, who the hell knows what's going on? I sure don't. Everything's fallen into disrepair. Many rooms have been neglected. This house should be impenetrable. Even a little crack is a cause for serious concern. Which is why I have to find and patch up every single gap. Once they're closed, everything will go back to the way it was. Now that's a clue, because when the lightning strikes, it causes an eyeball to appear and like a breach in the house, right? Those holes appear every time an eyeball appears. Now, if I get there fast enough, I can repair the breach without the eyeball appearing. All right, anything useful? No, just, just clutter. So this is the first phase of, of the nightmare portion of the game where I have to turn on as many lights as I possibly can. Oh, back to the fun room. And find as many clocks as I can. Right? And once... Oh, no. Not round. How can these pages be here? Why are they torn? I don't like this at all. Did someone get into the room while I was asleep and steal the diary? Ooh, plot? I have to check the entire house again. I really neglected it. Hey, anyway, what was I saying? Find as many clocks as I can, and then once lightning starts striking and the breaches and the eyeballs start appearing, I need to run around and activate all those clocks to give myself a little bit of a leg up. Um, okay. Yep, here we go! Time to party! Okay, clock number one. I was very lucky to find two clocks back to back. This will actually help quite a bit. Alright, clock number two. If nothing else, this will allow me to survive at least one hit. Okay. Whatever you're imagining, imagine it fast. Another lump. Hide and seek. It's not just a game, it's a way of life. No matter where or how you hide, time will always run backwards because... reasons. I often address the diary entries to myself, to my older self who one day would read these entries. It was just a game, but now I feel that a complete stranger has penned these pages. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just playing a game, man. Okay. Come closer. I'm right 
Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And up to doodles. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Remember something. The streaming is troubled. You're dying. But in the forest, they want you to live. I'm dying? The handwriting is made to look like mine, but it's just a little bit off. I didn't write this, that's for sure. Okay, so we are getting a little bit of a story unfolding. Shoot, I'm trapped up here! Uh, oh, move, move. I gotta take a chance, I can't just stay here. I'm gonna! I don't trust you, little girl! You fooled me like eight times in a row! Okay. Yeah, you know where I am. I get it. <laughs> oh, nope. Something got me. But I had enough time to where uh, I was able to take the hit. The bad news is that I'm pretty much back to square one. All right, let's, uh, let's plonk on up the stairs. Let's see what's up here. Now, time does run while I'm going up and down stairs. It doesn't pause, I've noticed. So ideally, I, I, theoretically, I could just tromp up and down the stairs endlessly. All right, you remembering anything? Is this just going to be uneventful? Fine with me. Doesn't make for entertaining content, but if it means I get to survive the night and win the game, then bring it. All right, I don't want to go up. Because I would be trapped if I went up. Let's Let's stay up here. And let's just really hope that... Oh, here we go. Okay, time for fun times. Man, you're not going to remember a ding-dong thing, are you? It really is so dark. I can't see a thing. Oh, hey, here we go. <gasps> you remembered a clock. What a lovely individual you are. Good. That was, that was clutch. That was a clutch play. You know what this is really reminding me of? An old Nintendo game called oh, Spy vs. Spy. Uh, some of you may not know what Spy vs. Spy is. It's an old uh, comic that ran in Mad Magazine. And it was really popular for a while. Oh, rotting leaves on the ground. Is it fall now? Popular enough to get its own video game. Uh, one of several. But the whole point of the game was that it was player versus player. And you eat, you played on split screen, and you each wandered around a giant house, room to room. And the way to win was that you would find traps to set, and set them in the room, and hope that your opponent isn't paying attention to what room you're in. And so it was very much like this, going from a square room to a square room, hope, searching the furniture and hoping to find something that would give you an advantage. Boy, this is a quiet night. I'm probably going to regret saying that. Something will prob horrible will probably happen at the zero hour. But uh, this is a huge, huge change from the last nightmare level. Uh, the game is is taking a tremendous amount of pity on me. I wonder if something glitched. Either way, I am not complaining. Anyway, Spy vs. Spy, check it out. We never had a subscription to Mad Magazine, but uh, we always seem to wind up with issues. Hey, there we go, 6 a.m. We're good to go. Wow, that was an easy night. I wonder if it was just bad RNG on the second night. Something new. This is a game which should be played in the dark. Sit in front of the window and close your eyes. Imagine that something new appeared in the inky darkness beyond the window. Say this to yourself. It's there. I simply didn't see it before now. Repeat this until you feel that someone is watching you through the window. Then leave the room. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a tough voice to do. Back to my sanctuary level. I'm actually making some decent progress here. Alright, let's let's tromp on through the woods. Not that far away. 
I really love having guests over. There was a time when little forest things would come to visit. That's not a guest. That's just putting squirrels in your house. And sometimes I even made dinner for lost wanderers. I would set the table and pass the time in a conversation with them. In my head. That's messed up! And when I realized that there was more than anything in the world, I'm afraid of the invisible. So where's the diary now? I've got to find it quickly. Nothing else matters. Anyone can see. Nothing else really matters. To me. Don't look in the mirror. Look out the window. I don't get it. Why did I write this in my sleep? What does it even mean? It means go downstairs. Find the clock. This forest is at the end of its life. Uh, it used to be a rich biotope. Biome? But now it's dying. I couldn't find any healthy new growth. Oh, there was more things, but I clicked through it like an eager little beaver. Nothing here. Is this where my clock is at? Nope. Down. One more. Yeah, this is becoming increasingly hostile, like I thought it might. Okay, and down skis. Down skis. Boop! And off to find the front door! We'll just tromp on around. Find our little birdie girl. And see what piece of madness and insanity she has to give us this time. It's a lovely self-portrait last time. If indeed that's what it was! Keeping my ears open. There you are. I hear you. Where'd you go? Here we go up at the... Oh! You're around here somewhere. I heard you singing. There you are. Alrighty. Up, 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 up. Oh, okay. So do I, I... I have to find her multiple times. It's not that I, I pass by her. It's that she's playing hard to get, right? Like, she's... she's it's more hide-and-seek. Hmm? There you are. I see you, little lady. Can we go up? Yes, we can. Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, what you got for me? Showtime. Oh, well, you guys look healthy as, as, as can be. Just as healthy as bulls. We got um, giraffe lady talking to buzzard boy with a crazy fish man. Uh, not liking the whole thing. Like, oh dear me, it's a snowing outside. Did we get the harvest? Hmm. That's so weird. I'm sick. I'm so sick. Why do I keep seeing all those things when I look outside? Nothing like that could ever be out there. It's against the laws of nature. It can only be the forest out there. The dark, grim, dying forest filled with nightmares and monsters. Nothing so silly as anthropomorphized animals. That's just wacky talk. All right. <coughs> okay, so we're going to go home and we're going to uh, embark on the next nightmare phase of this game, which I am not prepared to do because, man, I lucked out on the last one and I'm just going to coast off of that for the rest of the day. So next time I'm a part-time gamer, Dad, we will... Uh, uh, we will go, just carry it on forward. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.